Good afternoon, everyone. Today I would like to talk about omitted and misrepresented record cold temperatures across the news spectrum, making it more difficult for you to dig in and really find what types of 100 year, 120, 140 year records are being broken. Seems to be disguised in the news on purpose. As I go through the information, I wanted to jump between two articles. The first one here, record-breaking November Arctic cold. The second one I'll reference is November 14th, shattered cold and snow records for some. As we can see right here, the graphic on the right does not include the consecutive days below freezing that just tied the 1900 record, which put that back at a 115 year cold record. Notice how that's done on purpose. Most people don't take the time to actually read through the text. They simply look at the graphic. It seems that they're counting on you not actually looking into the text to insert that with your mind into the second position there. This is the Tri-State Storm Track 5 team. See how nicely they put that into the number four position. It's quite easy to read. You know exactly where the data is. I'll applaud them for that. These are the two articles that I'm going to pull information from. I've linked them below so you can read the full articles yourselves. As a case in point, let's take a look at Burlington, Colorado. It shows best of the previous record of November 30th in 2006. And then you think to yourself, that really wasn't too far back. But they did start keeping records back in the 1930s, so that pushes us back to 80-year cold record. The first article mentions 10 below zero. Again, in the second article, it does mention 10 below zero. When we come over here to the U.S. Climate Data Center, their records for the exact same day referenced are minus six. That's a 4 degree warmer temperature than the recorded temperature was. So why is it 4 degrees warmer on that? Just next to the title, at the very top, you'll see Casper, Wyoming, November 12th at minus 27 degrees. And then the very last line there, November 23rd, 1985, what they failed to mention was the climate data actually goes back to 1939. And this was the coldest since 1939, and it was 50 degrees Fahrenheit below normal temperatures. Another example, Jacksonville, Florida. Look at how it reads, the very last line, they give you the date of, it was 21 degrees exactly 20 years later on November 25th, 1970. Okay, they give you the dates of 1950 and 1970, but in reality, the record that was broken was a 141 year cold record set in 1873. They give you the, the later dates, so it's disguised as not happening on a 140 year record. And we'll come back to Storm Track 5. After I saw this, I thought, hmm, let me look in and see what the temperatures in North Carolina look like. I quickly came across a story here talking about 22 inches of snow in the mountains of Madison County. And it's really easy to find this type of information inside the climate offices of each state in the United States. So went to the North Carolina climate office, put in the one day greatest snowfall total. Now, wait a second. I just saw 22 inches on a record there. And this is supposed to be updated through December 2nd of 2014. Last month they had a 22-inch snowfall total. I don't see it anywhere. That would have broken everything by three times the amount at the number one position, all the way eclipsing 1903-1904. Why is that omitted? From the same article, they also have another snowfall total. Nearly three inches fell in Boone. You can find the Boone weather station here. Again, omitted details, there's nothing there. That would have slid right into the number four position. Why isn't it not there? This is a nice satellite view. It almost looks like a, a nor'easter coming in, some kind of spinning vortex there. I could continue to give you hundreds of more examples, but that's just kind of a redundant point. I wanted to bring this to your attention, so when you do start looking for patterns in cold weather climate records, notice how... There's a hodgepodge, a mismatch, a misrepresentation, omissions of information. It has to be done on purpose. It keeps occurring through major news sites, meteorological offices, major sites and informational portals that we go to. It can't just all be by accident that they're omitting or forgot to put something in the climate records. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video that can help you do a little more concise research on your own.